So I'm using a portable x-ray fluorescence device that allows us to measure the geochemistry of sediments and rocks and really anything that you pointed at. But in this case, what I'm doing is I'm using the portable x-ray fluorescence device, or also known PXRF. We're using it to measure the geochemistry of the sediments that are inside pit feature P1. And this is the pit feature that produced stem points last year, 2012. And what I want to know by doing this is how does the geochemistry of the fill that's inside the pit, that is the, the sediments that were put inside to bury those projectile points, how does that compare with the other geochemistry of the other stratigraphy layers? So by being able to characterize this geochemically, that is what elements are present and in what quantities, I can use it as a pattern matching tool to say this sediment is unique. It is definitely fill of a pit not some other natural stratigraphic layer, or in contrast, it is not part of the 1960s backfilling event from previous archaeologists. So it's just another tool that we can use to characterize things, understand them, separate them, and make sense uh, of the stratigraphic record that's at the Cooper's Ferry site.